Here, I'll do the spoon. You Anna and Sophie claim to be the biggest Harry Potter fans of all time. So on the day to end all that has been created by author J.K. Rowling, you might ask what they're doing baking cupcakes in the kitchen. We are making snitch cupcakes. Like the golden snitches that Harry catches as a seeker in the Quidditch Cups. There it is. The girls are actually tailgating before the last installment of Harry Potter on the big screen, complete with a toast for the fallen. To Albus Dumbledore. Yeah, he's dead. That made me so sad in the end of the sixth book. I was like, you can't You're die. Supposed to drink her. after you toast. <laughs> we we kind of obsessed over Harry Potter together. It's been cool because no other friends I knew were this deep into it. And I got me turned on to it when we were, I was like nine or 10. So back in fourth grade. And at first I was like, it doesn't sound good. It sounds dumb. But oh, how a few short years changed her outlook about the chosen one and his band of misfit friends. It'll be around for decades. It's just like a literary classic, you know? 50 years from now, kids will still be picking up those books. It's timeless. So I think people are just going to be always reading them. And I want to be able to say when I'm 50, just like I went to the premiere. So Anna and Sophie prepared to go, six hours early, mind you, to get the best seats in the house. It's just important that the whole experience is good. It's just, it's vital. <laughs> people are really excited for this. They've waited a long time for this movie. And continued to wait. The lines began forming a little before seven. Five hours people spent waiting in line. Five hours reading, watching movies, practicing their wizardry, or simply trying to mow down some dinner. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but more than that, I'm just a fan of what the story is telling. We're like, this is awesome. <laughs> this is the greatest time of my life. I've never been to a midnight release before, so it's going to be pretty exciting. We're both about getting ready to graduate college, so it's kind of the last time we can be kids like this. We just knew this was going to be a great time, and because it was the very last installment, and I had never done one of these midnight things before. I thought, I'm going to do this. This will be fun. And we, we've had a great time just being here for the outside part. But now it was time to move in. The theaters had been cleaned and were ready to host a new crowd, an excited crowd. And Harry's number one fans were getting caught up in the moment. It's great to see all the costumes and even the management is wearing like Gryffindor ties. So that's really cool. I'm excited. I can't wait. It's the very end. So very exciting. So friends and foes alike grabbed a last minute snack, the tickets were collected, and the herds were being shepherded to their seats. It was time for Harry and the gang one last time. John Martin, live at 5 at 4.